Hi reception, it's Mrs Tunnicliffe again. So I've got another music challenge for you. Okay, so on here you can see some musical pictures. Do you remember we did them when we were listening to the Prince song? Okay, so we've also made some instruments since then. And I gave you some ideas of the sorts of things you might be able to use from around your house. Now, I found a few other things as well. I've got some old curtain hoops here and stones. They make some really nice percussion instruments. And guess what? If you don't have anything that you feel like you can use as an instrument, you can use your hand or your voice. You can slap your knee, you can clap, you can use your voice. I'm going to show you that um, in a minute when we're reading this music. Now, if you don't have this from the other week, you can just start again. You can use mine if you like, or do different similar pictures that mean something to you. So. When I did these three beats, I was thinking for the drum, I could do a big bang for each um, each picture. One, two, three. So I'm going to do one, two, three bangs. Perhaps if you had a little circle, that could mean a quiet bang. Yeah? Here I've got a long elongated note. That means a long note. And then two shorter notes and then another long one. I'm going to use my maraca. Alright, I'm going to try the glass and the spoon. For this, we've got a note that goes uh, down, quite long, well, sort of medium size, then two short ones, down and then two short ones. So repeat it again. You might not look, do it like that. You might go to your bottle or pat, 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 pat your lap. And then here we've got a squiggly one. This is quite um, a more challenging one. Maybe when it's high, you can do a loud noise. And when it's low, you can do quiet. Or it might, when it's high, it might go fast and then slow. That's quite tricky. But you are the composer. You are the musician. And you're deciding what these pictures mean and how you want to play your instruments. So I'm going to have a go. When it goes big and tall, I'm going to bash the two stones together each little kind of hill I'm going to bash together the two hoops okay watch carefully I'm going to just listen to the sound and watch the pattern see right there's lots of different things that you can do okay I'm going to demonstrate one last thing before you set you off to your challenge just going to demonstrate from scratch, coming up with an idea for your music picture, which then you can use your instrument to play. I am going to, oh, I know, I'm going to do a bit of a zigzag. I'm going to go tall, like that, and then little. Tall, and then little. Because I like the idea of using my hoop, this time on the drum. And when it's tall, I'm going to go really, really loud. And when it's quiet, I'm going to... Uh, when it's low, I'm going to go quiet. So a bit like that first symbol, but it looks different, doesn't it? That's okay. Or what you could do is it's quiet when it's tall. These mean loud. You come up with your own ideas, okay? I really hope you enjoy um, this challenge and I would absolutely love to see your ideas, picture form or videos on Tapestry. Please, please, please show me. Have fun, guys.